Hey, this is Big Man and Slim Dog. Make sure you check out Rock Zone. Na kus řeči s Frankem. Nazdar bando, zdraví vás Frank z Rockzone 159 a vítám vás u dalšího dílu pořadu na kus řeči s Frankem. A pozor, dneska moje pozvání totiž přijal basketarista legendární Slipknot alias v neboli civilním jménem Alejandro Venturella. Doufám, že jsem to moc teda neskomolil. Každopádně, co byste měli o Slipknot vědět? Víte o nich snad asi všechno. Jsou z Ameriky, mají za sebou 7 desek, řadových 7 desek, No a tady ve čtvrtek vystupují na Rock for People. Ale ještě předtím se správně výjmenem dáme rozhovor. Pojď na něj. Obviously, first question has to be, how excited for today's show are you? Every show I'm excited, the same. It's one, it, you have to be, um, you know, it's it's that one thing of the day that I'm here to do, that I love doing. So you have to enjoy every show that you do the same. So. Absolutely understandable. Yeah. Now, the second one is also obvious. We have to discuss a little bit uh, your latest album, The yeah. So Bar. Uh, which was released uh, yeah, last year, and there's been already said and done everything around this album. But I want to know if you are happy with the receptions regarding this album, either from fans, from critiques, and if you are reading maybe some in, like articles about the album or seeing some reactions or on YouTube or hearing fans what they think about the new album. Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I try not to listen to a lot of stuff. But um, I've had a lot of people from my peers, that musicians that I've looked up to, um, that, have, that have talked about the album. In and you know, it's in the end of the day, as a band, as a group, we're very proud of what we released. Um, you know, it's a and it, it's an absolute evolution from the previous record. Um, and the thing is, we're everything that we keep doing and we keep going on from here is music that we love as a band group if we're not happy with it we're not doing it so you know that's that's it at the end of the day so um if anyone did not enjoy the record or they thought it was too different or whatever then hey it's up to them no <laughs> you know, so sense and if i will stick with the words yeah for what is it the end well something it's, it's the end so far so for what is it the end well i mean Hey, I do the music. I do this. <laughs> I don't do the lyrics, but but you know, it's um, it's it's a thing of you know. A lot of uh, conspiracy theories. A lot of people like to look into things. Uh, the Illuminati. Someone's always got some sort of thing. And then when you re sometimes when I read some of these comments that people write, and I'm like, they couldn't be so far from the truth of what the actual thing is. But it, you know, that's the fun thing about it. You know. And I think we live in a society now where we're at, where a lot of people demand now. We, all this, every information about bands. But when I was growing up, I'd go see bands and stuff. I didn't know anything, you know, they'd either be in a magazine and that was it. Whereas now it's TikTok. You can watch them in their own house, feeding their dogs and stuff like that. The personality the, or the, the secrecy is, is kind of gone now, you know? So I feel like, you know, what we're doing is we're just sticking to how the band's always been. And that's the thing, you know, we've never, something happens, something changes, whatever, that's how it is. So this is what we're doing. And it's nice to read some comments because they're, they're so wrong. Now, on a different subject, yeah. um, it will be 10 years of you in Slipknot last year. Yeah. How would you describe this time period of yours in your life? Was it a wild ride, or is it a wild ride? Oh, it's, I mean, it's always a wild ride, I mean, um, but no, I just wear her out as a band and 
how it was when I first joined the Bama in a very tough dis place, you know, emotionally, you know, losing fucking your best friend and fucking up and not having, you know, original members that, you know, yeah, the kind of like, so they didn't want to put up this, but I'm yeah. just, I'm just asking yeah. about your 10 years. Yeah, no, I know, but I mean, that's where it comes from. Yeah. You know? And it's like coming into something like that and then to seeing where I'm at now, that's the thing. It's like coming into something that was very hard and difficult to coming to where we are now and seeing how we've all evolved together as friends and people and and now the way that we can like we work together and the way that we musically gel you know that's that a lot of progress yeah and it's just that's something you know you can't do overnight and it's something that takes time and we've nurtured it and that's where we're at now and it's you know this set list that we've done is trying the, this, the you know this, that shows you it you know like uh, so now um how about your time that is consuming being in Slipknot? What I mean, what I wanted to ask you is if we can maybe and perhaps expect some different music from you and you only. I mean, you've been previously in bands, yeah. Quagabil, uh, Fly for Silence. So do you have any like spare time to do uh, music besides Slipknot? I think I'm always doing stuff uh, at home or whatever, just because if I'm not, we're not on tour. Or we're not in a studio, then yeah, I, I still do music at home. I'm still an avid com person of someone that I came from a very shreddy guitar background. So it's something I still do all the time, practice guitar and keep up my chops and shit. You know, and now in the world of where you see a lot of bands that everyone's fucking 12 year old kids now, they're just like so cr crazy on guitar. It's, it's really gone the double world now. And you know, and that's the thing, it's like that kind of hunger of me see you know seeing that shit of how younger kids are pushing the boundaries now with with technique or whatever it puts me to be like i get home and that's where i do my experimenting on stuff and try and you know uh, you know make yourself you know and, and i feel like so if you want to say like what am i doing now or separately from the band is is just honing in my own skill myself so and that goes to like piano and I, well, I played piano when I was a kid. I grew up, studied piano. So, yeah, so like a lot of the simps on We Are Not Your Kind, I did a lot of the simps on, on that record. Um, so it was those type of things where it was like that kind of thing. It's like you'd be, you'd be surprised how many like bass lines you'd come up with on the piano or something like that, you know? So I'm always at home experimenting on things like that. You know, and my time in Slipknot is like my, that's like my number one thing. So, I want to put all my effort in them in the, this band and what I do now. Later on, you know, I think if the band decide we're going to have like a, a nice time off, then you know, then I'll probably do something like local with local friends. Um, I know uh, Adrian at the gates. He's like he lives down the road from me, and you know, we've always said like, hey man, it'd be cool if we like jammed one day and stuff. You know, and it's just like one of those things. It's like. Literally, go around the house, he's got a drunk kiss out, he just plays some fucking old songs, probably just Slayer songs or some shit. And then you go to the pub and have a beer after it, you know, just, just... See, we've talked about it, but then again, I've said that about to loads of other dudes in other bands, and you're like, Hey man, we should fucking jam, like, you know, it's just one of those things. So... So we will see. We will see, yeah. See. I mean, there's no, there's no, I'm not, there's no, like, back catalogue written or anything. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now, lots of your fans, and also fans of Sligna. Uh, Pretty much know about your cooperation with Anthony Salva, Salvation Audio. Oh uh, yeah, the guitar fans. Yeah, yeah. So, and that leads me to the question: that, uh, Do you have any other connections to Czech Republic? Um, apart from this, not really. Um, or any good memory? Well, I mean, I'm, all the years of touring and even before Slipknot, you know, I would tour the world so many times with other bands and stuff. So, like, you know. Whenever I'm normally the cities we always in Prague or something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. normally like the, the only place we'd ever go. But you know, when I was doing uh, the stuff with the the guitar pedal company that he does, uh, the Kirk Hammett pedals, yep. and um, the first time they flew me over there and I did a pedal video with them, and they showed me the town and they took me out for drinks and food and it was just the best time ever, you know. And then I it, I had such a good time and I told my parents. 
and I paid for them to have a trip here as well. So they went and uh, stayed in a nice hotel, and then I told them to go to all the restaurants I went to. And so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. glad that I'm glad to be there. Yeah, yeah. So we are at the end. Yep. And now I have a series of short questions for you. Go to you. I'll be quick. I'll, I'll try not to talk to you it and try to tell me just this or that. Okay. Okay. So, club show or open air? Okay. Arena show or open air? Uh, open air. Okay. Favorite song to play? Permanent. Okay. New bands or old bands? Tough one. <laughs> This or that? Mainly more older bands. Okay. Bass or guitar? Guitar. Okay. Cats or dogs? Dog. Burger or pizza? Pizza. Beer or wine? Wine. Summer or winter? Winter. Okay. United States or Europe? Europe. Favorite TV show? Alan Partridge. Okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> that's about that. So, that was Alex from Slipknot. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure, I don't have to say it, but be sure to check Slipknot out. Go to their show, listen to their music, buy their meds, support them. And I will see you next time during next episode. Thank you so much for watching and cheers. <laughs> Don't be in order to get a